the middle of the day? It's been a hell of a day. Oh, did you see Mia? Oh, no, but when I do see her, I'm taking her for a blood test to prove she's not who she says she is. Why would you take a blood test if she isn't who she says she is? A hundred thousand dollars? What? Mother, look, the money is not the important thing. Putting your mind at ease and mine, that is. And then she can just disappear. This is outrageous. Mother, no, it's not. Isa, she really is. Mother, I don't want to talk about it. Thank you. I just want to drink my drink. Have you heard from Adam? Mm-mm. You heard from Stuart? No, no, they're in some valley in Idaho where the cell phones don't work. Good. Hey, Stuart calls me whenever he gets near a pay phone. Doesn't Adam call you? Oh, I conveniently miss his calls. Isn't he getting suspicious? I don't know. I don't care. You're still going to go through with this revenge thing, huh? No. Mother, Ryan isn't really interested. In you? He's not interested in much of anything. He reminded me, you know, that his wife has been shot and killed and that if I loved Adam or thought there was any future for our marriage that I should forgive him and I should move on. With Adam? After what he did? Don't you think it might be a good thing? I don't know. I mean, I think it's easier said than done, don't you? I don't know. You know, I was thinking about what Ryan said. I mean, what if Adam and I could push past this and we could have a life together? What if, what if there is a future for the two of us? I don't know. Maybe I can't forgive him. It's just too... Too hard? Yeah. Maybe it's easier to stay angry, Liza. Don't you think I have a right? Oh, darling, of course. You've got a right to be absolutely furious. But if you love him, as you just said you did, you think it's wise to throw it all away because of your pride? I think this is a little bit more than just my pride. Oh, is it? Mother, he's a liar. His word means nothing. Those are loyal qualities in a husband. Liza? Yes? There's something I want to give you. Mm. Magic wand to make this disaster disappear? Well, it could do something along that line. Uh, here. Angel pen. Yes. I, re I remember this. Do you remember why he gave it to me? No. Not really. And he was still a baby, and uh, my mother had died, and I was absolutely devastated. Nothing anybody could say didn't make me feel any better. And I just missed her terribly. And there he was at a loss as to what to do to help me. So one night he was walking by a jewelry store window on his way home, and he saw it in the window. And Went in and bought it, even though he didn't have money to afford it. And he came home and he said, Marion, every time you look at this, I want you to realize your mother's looking down on you, and smiling, and protecting you. <laughs> you know, my heart just about burst. And uh, he was right, it really did help me. And now I want you to have it. I want you to remember your father that way, because that's the way your father was. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, darling. Oh, it just kills me to see you in so much pain. Do you mind if we cut this short? No, of course not. Where are you going? I'm gonna go and, and see Ryan. Why? Well, he was the one who encouraged me to keep the door open, to talk to Adam, and... I gave him a hard way to go, and I want to tell him I was wrong. Liza, please, be careful, will you please? Mother. He is a good friend. I mean, I know you can't see that because, you know, he and I... Darling, you have both been deeply wounded. Please, please just be careful, okay? Thank you for the pin. I'll take care of it. Not now, Stephen.
You're back. And I'm not Stephen. <laughs> nope. I just wanted to come by to thank you for uh, your perspectives on love and relationships and, and not being so black and white with me. Well, I kind of went off on you, and I'm sorry about that. It's just I'm always thinking about Jillian and about all the time that we've lost together. And I can't wrap my head around walking away from something that works at the core, if not on the, if not on the outside, you know? I know. That's why I'm going to talk to Adam when he gets back from his trip with Stuart. Going to give him a chance to explain? Yeah, I'm going to listen. I don't know how I'll take what I hear, but... Well, it's good. You're amazingly strong with everything that you've had to deal with, experiencing such loss. It's not strength, Liza. I just, uh, I don't feel anything anymore. Oh, I think you do. I think you're afraid you're not supposed to. I really care about you. You too. Even though I said I wanted you out of my life before, I uh, I didn't mean that. I know. Look, Liza, I'm really glad that we're talking again, but I uh, I, I still need a little time alone. No, I know. I my mother gave me something about uh, 15 minutes ago. And I thought that um, I would give it to you instead. Well, what is it? My father gave it to my mother after her mother died. And he said that every time she looked at it, that she would know that her mother was looking over her. And so my mother gave it to me, and I thought that I would give it to you. Liza, are you crazy? I hope not. Well, I can't take that. It's it's, it's a family heirloom or, no, or no. something. Neither one of us needs it. But I think that you do. <gasps> You've been a good friend to me. J just let me do this for you. So, thank you. Thank you for this pin and, well, for this, you know. Brian, it's okay. I, I don't want anything from you. I, I don't even want you to help me get back at Adam. I just, I, uh, I care about you. We're friends. Yes. And I suppose if we had met at a different time. Different place. Mm-hmm. Who knows what we would be to each other. We could have ended up hating each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or not. Or not. Yeah. I should, uh, go. And you're sure you want me to have this pen? Yes. Thank you. I mean, thank you for everything. You're an amazing woman.
Adam, Adam, Adam. No, let him go. Let him go. Adam. Let him go, Adam. No. Adam. Adam. I knew I couldn't trust you, Lavery. I never denied that, Adam. You've been leaning on lies ever since your wife died. Trying to make her feel sorry for you. She wanted more than a, than, a, than a job or a soft shoulder to cry on. You wanted my wife! And why? Because I pulled the plug on your little company. You're, you're sinking that okay. stupid sinkhole. Adam, leave him alone. Don't you understand what's going on here? Don't you understand? He's using you to get to me. He orchestrated this little, this little seduction for the sole purpose of getting back at me. This time you went one step too far, buddy. Ryan didn't seduce me. I seduced him. I wanted him. You wanted him? Are you saying this was your idea? Yes. Liza, how could you? How could you? My wedding vows were already broken by you. <laughs> <laughs>